Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Lightyear Frontier, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and it's raining, which is nice, because that means we don't have to water the old crops, and we've been processing our oils, but we don't have the resources now for anything more. And that's okay. I'm going to put my seeds in. I'm going to put in anything that's heavy that I can fit. And it looks like it's about time for us to build another box, isn't it? We're running out. So I'm going to go to build. And we're just going to throw up another storage box. Now, I don't have uh, the... I'll put it right here. the wood yet to complete it but we're pretty close so I'll just throw in everything I do have and we can just switch over to the spike saw and kind of run over to our little nearby spot and just work on this tree here excellent and we can go jump and this exactly finishes this box we're going to open it I'm going to put in the stone Everything that's heavy. Uh, can I make any more food while I'm here? Yes. So craft the max food we got. And then we're going to go to sleep. Now I'm doing that because it's just so dark. Alright. So we have Kenai. Remember that stays active as long as our coziness is high. We didn't really feed too many right now. So... The resources are not fully repopping, but that's okay. That's not what I'm worried about at the moment. Yes, you're welcome. All right, so it's a new day, and all of our polyberries were ready. So I just picked them up, and then this is going to allow us to start pressing some oil. Now, we need polyberry oil because, as you can see, for the water tank capacity upgrade, we've got to have 18 polyberry oil. So I'm going to put in both of our pressers, just queue up a bunch of that, and then um, I'm going to use my polyberry seeds and just replant this whole area get this back in there mm -hmm. Fresh soil, neat seed. there we go and I've got some water here so it's not raining today sadly I'm missing one square each time I do this there we go if you hit it exactly, you will not miss. Sometimes you miss like that, and then you just have to single target it. Beep. Until you can see it darken, telling you that the soil is nice and wet. There we go. If you miss a day of watering, I'm pretty sure it'll just take an extra day for it to grow. But I have to be honest with you, I, um, I just don't miss days of watering. Alright, so what I want to do now is... Fill up my tank. And we're going to try to cleanse an area. So let's just go on the map. We are here in the meadows. And let's go up to this. Uh, well, no, let's, let me show you. I want to go this way. Straight to the north. There we go. So, if you now look at the map, yeah, we're going to Pine Heights. I'm going to set my marker, and you can see where we've decided to go. Now, all of that shimmer and the dust, that's generally an indicator that this area is not safe. It, well, not that it's not safe, necessarily, just that it's got some corruption. And this is it right here. So, let's get our water out. And we can use the cannon to clean up this gunk even quicker. 
So we're at 20% of the way cleared. So let's just keep going. This now look. Thing caught your eye, huh? It's an ancient mega structure. No way to tell what it was built for. Maybe it's just a huge art installation. Either way, it's no matter now. For all intents and purposes, it's just another mountain. Right, it's just another mountain. However, look at this. What's this? Strange rocks. Get the spike saw. It's an artifact. I can't wait to analyze this. So you analyze this, and you see how in the bottom left it says ancient ruins, artifacts, one of nine. To analyze these ancient ruins, you need to find all of the artifacts. Now they are these purple shiny guys. Now getting your mech to some of these places can be hard. So what you need to do um, is do a little on foot recon. Oh boy. Not saying that that's necessarily easy either, but you can move around and use your pickaxe nice. Fine. to do this on foot. I'm going to leave my mech for a bit and get what I can on foot. So you hear the, the sound. And there is an audio cue when you're getting close to one of these guys. I wonder what this could be. And we've now found three of nine. Remember, there's nothing really dangerous in this game, so leaving your mech is totally fine. Here's a nest, but we can't feed it until we purge this area. All right, there's one down here. Well, let's just get this one first. You hear the sound effect. It tells you you're getting close. All right, we are at four out of nine. And we know that there is one up here, so let me get it. Oh, boy. And here's some fossilized eggs, which is uh, a treasure that I'll take back to the mech. But let's get this. What a curious object. Curious indeed. So these things, remember, you have to pickaxe them. Then they fly up in the air. Then you just use L2, or I think it's left mouse if you're playing mouse and keyboard, to pick this up. And um, you can actually shoot it with R2. I'm just going to shoot it down there so I can get it in a moment. Because I want to continue exploring, make sure that I hear the shimmer. There's one over there. So that's definitely an indicator that there's uh, some more of these guys. And I'm going to go get this. Oh boy. I'm not really even sure if there's fall damage in this at all. I, usually if you die or do something that would kill you like fall into the water the game just kind of like tells you warning and then you spawn right back next to your base now you have to go in here to, and you'll hear it to find the last little piece there's one up there we're at seven out of nine. Oh boy I fell that's upsetting all right, let's get the jump done. And yeah, that mushroom wants to push you off. That's okay. I'm not close enough. Okay. So sometimes, even if you see the name when you're mousing over it, if you're, you won't get it unless you're close enough. Here's the last one right here. So we've explored the dam. So this is a dam. That's what it's telling us. Now, I also will um, tell you, I'm not sure if they only put exactly enough of those things, those artifact shards, or if they put more than you need. And I don't know if any of those locations are randomized. 
That's just where I'm finding them right now. All right, so let's just take this back to the mech, put it inside, and then get in the mech once we get close enough. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, okay. So now if we go into our database, um, we have the findings screen, and we can go to the dam, and you can read this little lore entry. It was built in two rounds. The first part was the base, which is coated in some kind of hydrophobic material, making me think that it was originally a water dam, not a wall. And the second part was built on top at a much later date. My guess is that by that point, the sea level on the planet had changed, and it was no longer needed for its original purpose, so they added the elaborate architecture over the blocky original and installed the gates at the bottom. What for? The answers are probably on the other side. All right, then. Okay. So we're going to continue blowing stuff up with water. 23%. Alright, here's another nest, but more importantly, here is some water for us, so I'm going to go ahead and just use all the water I've got. And then let's fill back up. There we go. Alright, so we stay in Pine Heights. And just look for any of this slimy garbage. And again, the game makes it pretty visually obvious where these things are. You don't have to go hunting too much. There's the obvious slime, but then you see the little shimmery guys on top. And, of course, you don't have to always do the big blob like I do. You can just spray it. Mm -hmm. And here's some more water for us. Handy. Because we need it. Turn on the light. There we go. Sweet. All right. Um... I'm at 67%, which is phenomenal. Uh, but I'm going to go right back here and just fill up again on water and keep looking. Now, some areas are just slime. And that's all you need to do is just use water and hit the slime. Some areas are just weeds. And all you need to do is use your vacuum to pick them up. And then some other areas that we'll find early are just... They're a mixture of water and weeds. And if you find water or weeds that it says you require an upgrade to process it, then that means that you're in an area that's uh, just a little bit above your capabilities. And there are areas that you can do, like um, the Pine Heights. And I'm going to go back and to it over here. you do these because generally the the way that the progression works in this game is that if you want new technology you need new resources and you can't get that with stuff in the meadow so you have to unlock you know a place like pine heights and then you'll find a resource that's required for you to make new stuff that allows you to go to even further areas from the base or just different areas from the base Whee. 
All right. Wonderful. Here we are. And usually, I mean, it's, it's such a very, you know, user-friendly game. They put water right by what you need most of the time or close. They don't make you just, you know, trek all the way around the world to refill your water and do anything super annoying like that. I appreciate that. And we did it. Now again, they might put a little bit more than you Ooh, need to. That seems to have done the trick. The ecosystem in this region is adjusting itself lick of this split. Lick of this split. In all my years, I've never seen anything like it. I know. I sent countless reports to Earth, telling them this was it. A new home for humanity. There just might be hope for this planet yet. So now that it's done, it's tremendous, right? And you can go ahead. Let's see if we can feed the animals. In my experience, the resources do not immediately just become obvious that are in, like, the region that you've cleaned. You have to go back and rest, or a new day has to come. The cutscene for a new day has to appear. Uh, let's see. I know there's a nest back over here, right? Yeah. Can I feed this, or do I still need to wait? Yeah, because the animals aren't even out. Like, they haven't... They might not, not be able to even come out or return to this area until you've purified it. So, now, we're just going to head back to our house. Now, if you want to go to the map and just get rid of the pin that you put, um, you can just push the Y button to remove the marker. And then now that little highlight is gone, the waypoint that I set. Now you see here where it says meadows, three of four. That means we've discovered three of the four different resource types that we can get in this area. I'm going to give that guy some food. Oh, and he gave us some aluminum. Well, thank you. Muchas gracias. So that means that there's still something left for us to gather. Right, aluminum. And I'm going to go back and try to make as much oil as I can. So you see the oil just kind of dumps out nearby. And it usually consolidates just into one container. And we have 17. So we're actually super close. So I'll try to make as much as I can. I like to just have it as many things processed as possible. You don't really need poly berries by themselves for much. And we actually have enough. So... This is something that uh, we need to pay attention to, which is that we do have enough Polyberry to upgrade our mech, but the game only counts what you have in your inventory. However, even though it only counts what you have in your inventory, if you had enough in storage and it was close enough to the upgrade center, even if the game is telling you you don't have enough in your quest tracker in the upper left, um, you could get there. So, like, I can do it. It says right now I have 0 out of 18. But then when you get to this screen, you see how it says 19 out of 18. So this will take into account everything in your mech storage, in your personal storage, and in the storage chests around the area. So we're going to go ahead and boost up the water tank capacity. And now, let me see what we've got here. Uh, we could do this with some polyberry oil. But that's the only thing that we can make at the moment. Alright, it's not just... It's not quite a new day. The sun is still rising. But it's about to be. And I'm going to... Uh, how's my water doing? Okay. So you see I had 50 before. If I go to use my vacuum harvester now here we go new day so extra resources in the region fantastic 
But now you see here, region restored Pine Heights, and now the effect. Uh oh, goes into play. We got to get water to check before we check the crops. That's the red crystal that we need in Pine Heights. So that's the one of the unique resources that we can find there. And then check out the door. Two of the purple arrows were lit. And now that we've restored a region, a third purple arrow lights up, kind of indicating. Here they come. Okay. So these are going to get us if we don't. These are going to hurt our crops. So what we need to do is get them. This is vacuum cleaner. So if you see these weeds falling down, these require vacuum cleaner. If you get these weeds out of the air before they land, you get noxious pods, which is a resource that we actually need. So this is a great way to earn noxious pods. If they land, um, I believe, there we go. They will kill the crop that they hit, which is a shame. Okay. So, we just heard from another person. Well, we've been just talking to an AI. But we've heard from the merchant. So, to get the merchant to land here, all we need to do is build a landing station and she'll pop in. I'm planting seeds in all of my missing spots. And you can see that it's raining. So, you know, we don't have to do much else. Now, I, the merchant is great, and again, this game is super friendly, because the merchant will arrive every day. So, you don't, and they come to wherever you want, so you don't have to go to town, they come to you. Now, I'm going to go to the assembler, and we can make aluminum parts now that we have polyberry oil, and we're going to go one. I'm going to try to make, I can only make three at the moment, and it's because I don't have enough oil, but... I can, once I get five, I can upgrade myself again. So, how many seeds do I have? I have seven there, but how many do I have over here? All right. I have 24 total seeds right now. So I think we can manage another box. So I'm gonna go to storage, or another bed, I should say, and we're gonna just build another plot. Okay, fine, plot. How about I say the right thing? Now, if you want them to line up nicely, these are not square. These are rectangular. So, uh, like, for example, if I have it like this, you see how it's slightly wider? Um, if you put it like this, it'll match what I've got. It doesn't matter, but if you want it to be, you know, matching, that's what you got to do. All right, we're going to come over here and just obliterate these trees. The trees grow back pretty rapidly in this game, which is fantastic. By the way, let me show you this over here. So this is kind of right by where you come out when you start the game. But if you go over here by this path, and there is a cliff face here, there's always some polyberry seeds. But this is a great spot for aluminum. There's four spawn points for it. And let's go ahead and gather it. Okay. Tremendous. And let's see. Anything else that I want at the moment? No, this is okay. All right. So I'm going to finish building this. I like to build beds, obviously, on a day when it's raining because it's a free water. So it's like, makes life easier. 
And then there we go. I planted another one. Now, I could even build more if I wanted to. So I could just go, hey, let's just plan this in. Now, what I like to do is leave enough space in the middle so that you can walk through with your mech in between the plots. And again, I'm not going to build all of these. I'm just laying in the blueprints. And we don't have enough for this one yet, but I do have enough to plant these. Into the soil it goes. Into the soil it goes. Okay, great. So, let me get some more um, polyberry oil queued up. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to... I'm actually going to get some plant oil going, then some polyberry oil, and then let me make as many aluminum parts as I can, which is exactly enough. That's two. We're going to go over here, and we're going to use the upgrade station. And we're going to get ourselves this spike saw power. So it allows us to break stronger materials. So this is going to help us... Um, get some resources that we can't at the first level. So that's done. Now the other thing that the quest wants us to do is restore edge cliffs. That's just because we visited it. If you visit any of these areas on the map that are question marks, you will automatically just unlock the quest to restore that area. It doesn't mean that you, the game like is saying you need to do that right now. I mean, obviously it wants you to, but sometimes you don't have the technology to do it. But the other thing you want us to do is go ahead and build the merchant landing. So let's see what that would take. All right, so I'm going to go to build, and we're going to go over here. Doo -doo -doo. And the merchant is right here in the star tab. And you'll notice it takes red crystal. Well, they that's why we unlocked the merchant by purifying Pine Heights, because we couldn't have built this without the red crystal that we get there. So I'm just going to kind of rotate this and put the merchant um, right there. That looks good to me. I'm going to build everything I can. So it's got all of the aluminum and the stone that it needs. We just need red crystal. So always check your inventory. You see I have 23 pounds. Make sure to dump out your stuff before you go out exploring anything that's heavy. Now, you can organize your inventory way better than I do. I'm terrible at this generally. But... Uh, that is something that you could do. By the way, the, fossil, the petrified eggs that we got, um, you could see that these will sell for a lot. These are actually on 7% bonus sale in this area, so we even get more money. And the only use for this is to sell it and make money. So I'm just going to put that in there. And do I need some more food? Yes. Now, we can make some nice fodder, and I'll show you this. Um, I'm going to make three nice fodder, and then I'm going to just craft... Uh, the max of regular father. The reason I'm making nice father... Oh, can I make some more? Uh, I need fiber. Okay. You need fiber, just chop down some bushes. There you go. We just got 57. That should be enough. In more sophisticated zones, or more powerful zones, the wildlife require higher level food. So in the meadows, it's pretty straightforward. They just want basic. I think that these guys out here in the Pine Heights want... Um, the fine father, the nice father or whatever. But let's see. So it tells you there's five resources... And here's the rat scallions. Now, they don't like the mech, but we can just go here. Yep, they want nice father. Oh, he's full. I fed him. And did he give us something? He gave us some plant fiber. That's fine. And I'm just going to feed this right there. Bam. So we've fed all of them. And the reason we want to feed them is because we want this red crystal to repop. And here we go. Here's the red crystal. So you see this kind of rock with a hole in it. This formation, you'll see it for aluminum. You'll see it for copper. You'll see it for red crystal. Many of the resources 
come in spots like this, and when they're empty, you know you're either waiting for them to repop or you need to purify that area before they will come out. And now we can get red crystal because we've cleaned this area and that's where it will come. And if we want it to replenish itself tomorrow so we can get more red crystal, we need to feed as many animals as we can. And here's some right here. So these guys are awesome. These um, stock tails because, um, well, first of all, they gave us Ravage, which is a new resource, and we really need that. Um, it's another crop that we can plant, but they don't care about the mech too much, so they will just let you feed them. Easy way to get resources. Don't even have to get out of your mech. We got some red crystal here, and let's see. Turn on the light. Oh, what's that? Okay, so first of all, there's some Ravage that's on the ground. So this is Ravage right here. If you mouse over it, you see it says Ravage. This, it's just kind of, well, red cabbage. The, the stuff in this game has hilarious names. It's like Radish Cabbage, Red Cabbage, Ravage. This red guy over here is a Geode Shard, and you can't vacuum it. You need to bap it, and then you'll pick it up, and it's a resource that you... Basically, as far as I have found, you just sell it. It just makes you a lot of money. It's kind of like the petrified egg. And it's going to run around here. Mm -mm -mm. And ravage. Get as much ravage as you can. These Remember, when you vacuum it, you're just getting the seeds. But uh, this will let us plant it at our own base. And I'm sure you already saw, but ravage, ravage oil, this is necessary for us to create a lot of stuff. So we need Ravage. Go ahead and take some of this. That's fine. And is this the Meadows or is this Pine Heights down here? Okay, this is still Pine Heights. Great. There's some aluminum for us. Aluminum is something you're going to need all the time. It becomes like... At the beginning, it's so hard to get. You feel like you need so much of it. But as you get better, you'll be getting plenty of it. All right. And now, if I go down this way, I believe we're back into the meadows. And we are. Awesome. Okay, so we have got some red crystal now. We are working on building up the merchant landing. And we have purified a zone upgraded a bunch of technology we also found ravage let me see if we can build this merchant landing are we close yes we have enough we did it so now we just need to wait for her to arrive and usually she arrives at the beginning of a new day fantastic let's see about oh i did not mean to exit the mech dirt build that and then build that and then, can you build that? You can get close. And then go to the seed gun, and let's plant Ravage. It's raining. It's a perfect time. You just plant it exactly like you plant your Polyberry, but when you select the seed shooter, you see how you can push right and left to select other seeds? Now, right now, it's the only seed we have, so we don't need to worry. But if I have more in my inventory, you use right and left on the directional pad if you're using a controller to switch between the different seeds you have. Okay, great. So now we have Ravage, Ravage planted. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below. And we've got a lot more to explore, so I'll check you in the next one. Take care.